Hey guys, it's Dylan. I'm going to show you how to do your own custom power armor today. So first off, you're going to start by loading up your files, and whatever you need. You're going to set this as active. Once you've done that and you're ready to roll into the power armor, you're going to go ahead and go to the armor section. Type in whatever, whatever armor you want to use. Uh, for this example, I used T-51, and I used my own military camo on it. So, First off, you're going to copy every piece that you want and make it your own. Name it whatever you want. For this example, I chose military, just torso mill, as you can see here. Once you've done copying all of these, you can pause this video if you want, if I'm going too fast. Once you've copied all these, you're simply going to go to leveled item list right here under items. I'm going to go ahead and create your own your own leveled item list. Name it whatever you want. For this example I, use, I chose this one. You're simply going to drag and drop what you created here. So I just dragged and dropped all of these into here. Pretty simple. Don't change anything else. Once you've done that, you don't have to worry about the object window right now. I'm going to simply just use these, this window right here. Alright, so you're wondering how to change it. You're going to go ahead and double click on whatever piece you want. For this example, I use torso. So all of this doesn't really matter. You can just go ahead and head down to object template. Make sure this is your copy, not the base copy. Go to object template. This is the screen you're going to want to focus on for modifying what you want to do to your specific power armor. So if you want an NPC to specifically use a certain part on your power armor, usually this will be clicked with default and it'll have a little it'll have a D next to it for default. So you're going to go and uncheck the default one and then you're going to hit here, click new, and it should open up a new branch. And to edit that, you're going to click default and you're going to rip whatever say mine was this is the keyword for mine and it's the same keyword for any of these so if you want to say the uh, lining D you just go ahead and copy and put it in your own once you do that you're just going to go to here any of these it doesn't matter make sure it's like your corresponding letter copy you're going to go ahead and paste it here. So, once you've pasted it, to modify the materials, you're simply going to go to add and search PA underscore material. And here you get a list of the materials you can use. For example, I think there's more. Hold on one sec. There's a ton of uh, materials you can use, so you just add them if you'd like to. Uh, for this example, I chose the lining B for my custom one. And I chose material military, which was really hard to find, but I put it on this one, which was pretty easy. Uh, I didn't put any miscellaneous on it, and you obviously keep the regular torso. You just add the lining that you want, which is corresponding help, and the material, which is essentially the paint you use. Uh, once you've done this, this is just for the torso, right? Make sure you add these keywords. So if you want it to use the material military, you have to add if TMP PA military. If you want it to use lining B, you have to use if PA T51 lining B. And you click apply once you've done all that make sure it has d next to your specific one that you created otherwise it won't work once you've done that you go ahead and click ok i hit cancel but once you've done that for every single one of these it's essentially the same thing for all of these i'm going to go ahead and show you guys one last time you just double click the item go to object template Simply right click, click new, and create a new default lining. So you can use any of these, doesn't matter. Just do, you have to copy the keyword. 
where you can actually just add one. So you search lining. This is the specific linings for the T51. So you can use, it should pop up as the other ones. But uh, if I wanted to change it from lining B to lining F, I really could by just adding that and then deleting lining B. And then you go over here to object modifier window, and of course you add your material, which is the paint I chose, which is military, and the lining. And you delete the null, unless you, uh, unless you didn't add another miscellaneous, which I, I didn't, so I did not have to delete it. Then you hit apply, and once you're done for all those, it's kind of a tedious process, but once you've done all those, you should be pretty good. Um, remember those keywords that we set in right here in the object template. You're going to want to copy those again. So you copy. And you head over to filter keywords chance, paste them, and then set their chance to 100. Make sure all of these keywords are correct for every single one of these, otherwise you're going to have some problems in game and you might not get a piece of armor to appear. Once you've done that, you don't have to mess with any of this. Just click Choose Use All. Make sure that's checked. And you're going to hit Preview Calculated Result. That's that. Should show up. There we go. I've got my torso lining. Lining B with military. Lining B, military. Got it all right there, which is awesome. And if it's not showing up, then you probably did something wrong with the keyword. So once you hit close, you just go and click OK. Once you've created your level item list, you're going to want to copy a new furniture set. So you're going to go to furniture, T51 for my example, or T51 furniture. Probably better search it all. You're going to go down. For example, uh, the base thing that it was called was Power Armor Furniture T51. I simply named it ZZZ so I could find it easier and put Army on the side of it. You just copy whatever furniture you want to use and name it yourself. And it should pop up with this, with the Power Armor stuff. This whole side doesn't really matter at all. Uh, just make sure you name it the new editor ID. None of this really matters, any of this either. Um, the main thing you're going to be looking for is has container. You're going to drag and drop the leveled item list you created. So here's my item list, which has all of the pieces and keywords and everything I wanted in it. And you're simply just going to drag and drop. And it should appear in here. You should already have a fusion core here. Um, and you just hit preview calculated results and it gives me everything I want. And once you've done that, you can go and hit OK. And once you've hit OK, if you want to apply this to an NPC, you can. You could either just drag and drop the furniture itself, which is like, for example, if you wanted to use it, but if you wanted an NPC to use it, you could do this. So once you're editing whatever actor you want to use it for, you can just go to inventory of the actor, and then you're going to hit power armor furniture, and you're going to choose the new one that you just created, which is the copy of the furniture you wanted. Once you've done that, it should be pretty good. Um, I like to add AI packages that force it to be in power armor, for example, right here. Um, just to make sure, but so far it's been working fine. And once you've done all that, you just go ahead and click save, and then you go to in game. So as you can see here, IT51 is working great. It's got all the armor pieces on, it's functioning properly. And that's about it, guys. Did everything right, should be fine.